Let's take a look how I made this ink bleed grungy text effect here in Photoshop. I gotta go with this artboard size. I gotta go and select the type tool, press Ctrl T, press and hold Shift plus Alt to scale it up. By the way, I went with the six caps regular font. And now I gotta go to the filter. Let's go to the blur and select Gaussian blur. Convert a smart object. And here I'm gonna increase it to 22 ish, 23, until it's gonna be nice and blurry. Click OK. And now I'm gonna go and drag and drop an image which is a mountain. I'm also gonna leave a link in the description with it. Make sure to choose some pictures with nature because these contain a lot of information and texture from which you can create crazy grungy styles. So from here, I'm gonna rotate this. I'm gonna press and hold shift and rotate 90 degree angles. Press and hold shift plus all, scale it up nice and high. I'm gonna position it like that. Double click release. And now I'm gonna go to the image adjustments and select black and white. Click OK. And we're gonna change up the blend mode to hard mix. And as you can see, it's gonna make it nice and grungy. Now, if you wanna reduce the information from this grunginess, you also can go to the filter, blur, Gaussian blur again. And I'm gonna reduce this all the way down. So as you can see, it is reducing the information on the grunge, but I don't want that much. I'm just gonna go down to 1.0, click OK. Now you also can move around this grunge until you're gonna find the favorite spot. And you also can see this looks really thick and I wanna make it more thin. So I'm gonna select the text again. Let's go to the adjustments. And here we're gonna select the curves. And I'm gonna bring the curves up and check this out. It is going to make the text nice and skinny. I'm also gonna add another one here, something like this. From here, let's go and click on the top layer here. And I'm gonna drag and drop another texture, press and hold shift plus alt, scale it up, double click release, and we're gonna go to the blend mode and change it to exclusion. You also can add more contrast if you want. I'm gonna go back to the adjustments. Let's select the curves again, so it's gonna be on the top here. And I'm gonna adjust the contrast increase or decrease, however you like, and check this out. It's gonna make it even more rugged. I'm gonna make a new layer, press and hold alt and click on the new layer. I'm gonna rename this as noise. Let's change the mode to overlay and check the fill with overlay neutral color, 50% gray, click OK. Let's go and right click on the noise layer, convert to smart object, and let's go to the filter, noise, add noise. Make sure it's on monochrome. And I'm gonna decrease the amount, something like this, click OK. And that's how I make this grungy ink bleed text effect here in Photoshop. Thanks for watching.